So Cursor just launched one of the biggest updates in 2025, right at the end of the year, and this one is a game changer if you're a designer. And in this video, I'm gonna break down what Cursor's new design mode actually means for designers and front-end developers, and really for anyone building applications with AI. And this is just the beginning of a whole new way of building products that is gonna change so much about how software applications are built in 2026. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly how to use Cursor design design mode. If you don't know me, my name is Chris and for the last 15 years I've been designing apps and advising startups on product and design. And with that said, let's get into cursor design mode and see what it can do. Build great products. Build great products. So this is Cursor and I just have a recent application that I've been working on up and running, one that I kind of did for the Cursor tutorial video here. And I want to show you what Cursor Design Mode actually means for you if you're building applications with AI and especially if you're just building applications by yourself, kind of bootstrapping or like building your own apps. But this also is super important to know if you're a designer or a front-end developer as well because this really changes how we're going to kind of visually design and update real applications and websites in 2026 and this is really just the beginning of this kind of wave of design tools being applied on top of code to kind of help us design and build even better apps and products and that's the whole point of this channel i'm trying to help you build great products here so what we're going to do in cursor is basically you can see we've got our preview our preview here but our browser here in cursor with our local host um, kind of environment like set up and running so that we can use our app locally and if you're a designer doing this you might be kind of like maybe a bit unfamiliar with this if you're just working in figma to kind of design the user interface or user experience across like uh, static screens you might be thinking well how do you even get set up with this environment on your computer basically you can use the same code base that your developers are using from github and get them to help you set it up on your local computer and if not if you're working from a code base that you don't know it will probably have a readme file that will tell you how to get it up and running in a local environment in cursor so that you can kind of test out designing things and if you're not even sure from there just start by using cursor and prompting it to build you a basic website and then start playing around with this feature so when cursor 2.0 launched basically they added this feature where you can have a browser inside of cursor to kind of work um, and view your live application without having to look at it in a browser window but not only that you can also select different elements on the page as well with this visual selection tool in the top right here now Cursor have extended this to add even more functionality essentially. So I can select an element here and um, so I can click on all these different elements, but I can't edit. I can't edit them. All it does is by clicking on those elements is it adds it to my agent chat in the top left here for context. So this is now context for my AI agent to say, I want to change this. Previously, what you would have to do is you'd have to say, make this wider, make this 50% wider, make this higher, change the font size, change the font color, or like change the styling of the buttons, for example. What we can do now is actually click on this extra icon that we've got in our browser view here on the top right hand side, and that opens this entire panel with all of the design settings and a kind of tree here of all of the elements on our page so that we can edit this stuff directly in a more visual style editor and this is a game changer because this means as a designer as a front-end developer you can actually or even as someone just building apps you can come in here and if you want to make a quick change to something a quick tweak to something on your app on any page of your app so if i come out of here and i click into the dashboard for example i can actually start doing this on the dashboard page and so i can kind of navigate around the app as i would normally and then I can edit these things visually on any page in my application without having to worry about navigating between all these different screens on a massive Figma file with huge prototypes set up or having to ensure that like all of the design changes are kind of consistent with like the design library in Figma that's documented and all of these variables and all of this stuff. Obviously, we want to make sure that the changes we're doing are consistent with the style, but we can just do this with the visual editor in cursor. So I can select this. I can come down here. We can change the sizing of the font for the heading here so that this is on one line so that that looks a little bit better. I can change the width of this section if I want to reduce the width of this section by a little bit. Let's say that we want to make this 700 
100 instead so let's make that a little bit tighter and we can change even change things like the layout of this entire section so let's say i want this to go across instead you can also jump over to the css here so that you can see how this is being calculated and if you've ever used inspect in a browser this kind of gives you a similar kind of view as that so you're getting all of these css classes that we can see here like where and what is being applied to these different elements on the kind of layout changes or any of the design changes that we're doing here so we can do this for the entire page if i want to change the button style here you can see you've got the gradient options here that i can choose between you can add in any effects here so we can add another drop shadow on here turn on or off any of these effects as well so we can see what this looks like with and without all of those effects you can see the properties here and the class name as well so you're getting all of the tailwind styling in here as well even going to and this also works really really well if you have like a defined style guide for your app as well so in this app that i've built here i've got a style guide page it's just linked in the footer for now but this is a style guide page that i have in this app to kind of control all of the default styles in the application so what we can do here is we can actually start to test things in our design system as well so say i don't want to use this kind of purpley color here let's come in and let's change that to more of like a a, ro a kind of royal blue like this so now what i can do is that if we have this element selected that is going to add that context to the chat on the top left here we can actually click this apply button here and it will apply these 13 changes that we made now sonnet 4.5 is going through and making these changes to the app and then we can kind of apply this style if we wanted to throughout the entirety of our app and that is basically how we can use this design mode in cursor to actually update all of the design style in our app and this isn't this isn't going to be able to redesign the full app completely but what this is really good for is those small little tweaks where you think i would maybe just like this title to be slightly smaller so that it can fit on one line and you can make that really really easily and then Cursor is just going to be able to go through and update everything in your code so that we don't have to do this. And what is great, the best thing about this being in code and in Cursor and doing design in this way is that I can now submit a pull request to the GitHub repository for this code base and this code will actually be added to the code for this app project and this is just bringing design and development even closer together so that the same person the same people can kind of be doing working across design development to non-technical people to people building their own apps with ai and to front-end developers and designers and so i think this is a huge indication of the way that we're going with these tools like cursor and a really impressive update from the cursor team as well just to add in this design capability on the right hand side of the browser that we can do in line as we're working on our apps. What's interesting about cursor design mode is that even though it's a small layout on the user interface where you can have kind of control over the fine details of the design and it just gives you the specs of everything on the app that you're actually working on, what this means is it actually opens up a whole new wave of people to start using cursor where they were maybe feeling a little bit intimidated before through just the psychological shift of having a control panel where you can edit the things on the page or in your app or website directly, it means that now now cursor becomes approachable for designers and from product managers and people building software to actually make edits to the applications and the websites that they're working on with confidence in the same workspace that all of their developers are working in as well it's this idea of kind of bringing in all of these different roles into one place with cursor and kind of blurring the boundaries between what even these roles are on a product team or in a software company that really shows you the vision forward for cursor and what they've kind of got planned for 20 26. And in a world where anyone can build applications by coding with AI, this just broadens their target audience even further to anyone working on software who wants to build a really, really great product. So I definitely recommend going and checking it out in Cursor. And if you are building an application with AI or you've got an idea for something that you want to start building, I've got a community helping people do just that. And I'm just about to launch a full Cursor build course as well so that you can get started building an application in Cursor and go through the entire process from database to authentication payments and more step by step and you can find out more details over at school.com forward slash ai apps where there's over 200 people building apps and launching them to real paying customers if you enjoyed the video don't forget to like and subscribe thank you for watching and i'll see you next time build great product build great product